Good morning, Taurus, and welcome to your reading with Molly the Starkid at Starkid Ignited. Um, thank you so much for being here with me. This is part one. Part two will be on Patreon. Um, links, All links are below in the description box. Everything you need is down there. Um, so let's jump into it, Taurus. So, Taurus, for the last 30 days, um, Taurus, the last 30 days has been expanding your mind, your capabilities, and what you thought was possible for yourself. Your energy does feel a bit tense in the head, so it's important for you to be relaxing your mind during this time and giving yourself time out so your brain can catch up with the new information you're receiving or you've received. I feel a connection has been especially stressful in your life and you've been closely evaluating this person, deciding if they match up with your values and what you see for your future. You have a big heart, so much patience, and have given them a lot of chances already in hopes they would change or the situation would evolve. But your heart knows deep down that this person is who they are. It's hard to see someone clearly when we have invested so much time, love, and energy into them. Your soul is reminding you that no one can change you unless you decide to, and so too it is with this person. You are worth the love, compassion, and affection that you seek, and when you choose to choose yourself, it is ready and waiting for you. So that was the channel message I got for you um, this month, Taurus. I hope that resonates or gives you a bit of confirmation if you have been thinking about um, a certain connection in your life and wanting to make a decision. So we're going to jump into your cards now. Let's have a look. So angels of love, light, and healing, please connect me with the higher self of Taurus. Please show me what is going on with them. What is in the highest and best for them to message to receive right now? Okay. All right. And is there any further card that wants to accompany this? Okay. Okay, cool. So Taurus, we get energy field adjustment for you. And um, this talks about aura cleansing and health. We have little goldfish around her. Um, and a lot of orange energy, so sacral energy, healing of the emotions. Um, yeah, there might be some like emotional experiences, gunk, things you're holding onto in your sacral chakra that are um, affecting your health or just affecting your vibration and how you're seeing things and how you're feeling about things at this time. Um, yeah, and the angels want to assist you by clearing this energy for you, by allowing it to um, be processed, to be felt once and then released, um, not allowing it to continue to gunk up your energy and instead like address what is there and allow it to flow through and to be cleansed. It also does feel like you're having an energy field adjustment. So there is new information, there is new vibrations that are coming in um, into your physical body, into your mental and spiritual bodies, um, new information, new abilities to have like a wider um, perspective. And because of this happening, your energy field is all being adjusted. So you might need extra time to just allow those changes to sink in and also to... Um, you know, acknowledge what is coming up and not feel that you have to hold on to it, you know, allowing it to move through you, especially if it's unpleasant or something that you um, don't enjoy having in your energy field, like bad experiences or, you know, past hurts that are resurfacing. Um, it's important to let that clear and to spend the time that you need to focus on it, um, release it, and then move forward. Because the next card that we get is Yamaya. And so Yamaya talks about origins, freedom, and power. She is an African, I, 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 don't, I don't know for sure, but I, I believe it's an African river goddess that became um, someone who ruled over the oceans in when um, a lot of like African people were stolen to become slaves in America. Um, and she has a lot of dolphins around her. So looking back to your origins again um if things are coming up in your energy field that are you know upsetting you or throwing you off to really look back to your past look at your origin where you came from um your early childhood experiences if things like this are coming up to be reflected upon and for you to free yourself from any of those um experiences that might still be active in your vibration and to reclaim your power from them to realize what it is that um 
like to move from victim to victor, to see it in a new way, to see it how, what did it teach me? Why did I go through this? Um, and when we look through our 3D eyes, it can be really hard to understand that. Like, especially if something was horrible or really, you know, like negative or heavy or dense, it can be like, well, I don't know why that happened. Like, you know, like we can get into our feelings and be like, nothing good came of this. But then when we, take that higher perspective and we look at it through like maybe our soul's eyes um through our higher self's eyes where it's like okay like this was horrible and maybe i didn't deserve what happened but it gave me this ability to care more about that area or to see things in a different light or to move in a way um that i wouldn't have otherwise moved in and focusing on how that served you in your life up until this point to um to just release some of that heavy stuck emotion and to reclaim your power and to realize that, you know, um, everything happens for a reason. Everything is happening for you, not to you. And to regain that stronger focus, that stronger perspective. Okay. So let's see. Sorry, guys. Let's see what, um, and also to bring a little bit of joy in, like dolphins are, really joyful they have connections to like atlantis and lemuria um because a lot of those um ancient civilizations were based in like water like island kind of um settings and so there was a lot of dolphin and sea life communication so that could be coming through like realizing maybe more of your starseed origin um potentially you are connected to one of these places or they have a message for you um especially with how we're developing now in the world like we have so much power at our fingertips but not a lot of it is being used for good a lot of it is used for destruction and war when um some of these things could be used to actually heal the planet rather than harm it so it there could be messages relating with that that are coming through from your ancient um past lives from your even like friends and family from those past lives that are trying to assist you in this soul journey okay so let's see yeah okay wow all right so the next few cards that we get for your emotions we get lionfish with individuality so you are and I feel this actually in two ways so that you are standing out more you know more people are taking notice of you but you also might be feeling a little bit vulnerable a little bit exposed with how much that your um individual individuality is sticking out um because the other two cards that we get are harmony and emotional overload um so this is harmony with the giant clam and emotional overload with the sea sponge um all with this little lionfish so i think you've had to be really bold and really um stick to your own values and allow yourself to be different and be unique and to find the value in that taurus um there is a lot of harmony coming through for you so there is going to be um situations in your life once this energy field adjustment comes through where things are going to harmonize things are going to work together in a way that you like even more beautiful than you could imagine and it is going to work out for your highest and best um i also see this as spirit like with a giant clam it needs to remain open so that the algae can um live in it and algae like clean the giant clam whereas the giant clam has to open it so that the light can feed the algae it's something like that so I feel like you might be being really encouraged to open up more and that can be a really hard thing when we're already feeling like we're sticking out and exposed and we kind of want to like close up our energy but spirit is reminding you that there's wonderful gifts and um, new relationships even that will come in with spirit and with people that are going to come in to really illuminate um, more of your beauty, more of your strength, more of your talents, but it's requiring of you to remain open. And that can be quite difficult um, with everything else going on. And especially when we're feeling emotionally overloaded, we may want to close up and not be so exposed, as I said. But spirit is just reminding you to let those emotions like flow through you and out. Um, you know, visualize like almost like standing under a waterfall or standing in like moving water um, when you are going through some of those heavier emotions so that you're feeling them and that you're with them, but then also feeling them slosh off you. Um, and then visualizing like 
more of the emotions or more of the experiences that you want to have um, coming in as well. So it's just like this like flowing process where then spirit can assist you with that process and be sending you in more um, high vibrational energy, like love, support, um, clarity, being able to see through this like storm that you might be facing and to be able to see the higher perspective, the higher picture and recognize when this harmony is coming through for you and recognize how much power that you do have because we do have your Maya here so there is a lot of power um oh and the other thing that I was going to say about dolphins is finding a bit of play as well that can be a really good way to shift heavy energy um you know even like finding a trusted friend if you have one like someone that you really um enjoy their company or if you don't have that you know creating that for yourself you know having um doing some art, doing some, um, play, you know, being dramatic, like putting on, um, a little play for yourself, dancing in the mirror, just like little things where you can help yourself shift this energy and appreciate yourself for who you are, Taurus. Okay. So let's see what Tarot has to say. Okay. So the first card that we get um, representing your current energy is justice. So there is justice coming through. There's going to be some karmic justice that happens of, um, you know, the effort that you've poured into something. Um, it also feels like, you know, if you are being really hard on yourself to just remember that, um, you know, we are the main people judging ourselves. Like there is no like man in the sky who wants to condemn you. A lot of it is just us. And like what we do unto others, we do unto ourselves. And that is the best way to um, know if we're on the right path. And so if you are judging yourself, you can allow yourself to like take accountability for any wrongdoings, but also to forgive yourself and to remember that you did your best with the information that you had um, and yeah, to just allow more peace and balance and justice to come into this situation. Okay. What is the, um, challenge? Okay. And we get the tower. So there has been, okay. Yeah. So you're being challenged to really remain balanced, um, you know, like morally upright, um, to not react too much with the justice card to kind of, yeah, just stay within your flow. Um, but there's a lot of like outside circumstances, things that are, have been breaking. Um, there's a lot of change that's going on in your energy. That's really challenging. Um, that's really challenging you and potentially like wanting to react negatively, wanting to get justice over someone where a spirit is reminding you to stay on your throne, to stay in your power. And that way you attract, um, more high vibrational justice for yourself, you know, not needing to be someone else's karma, letting the universe do that for them and knowing that you're attracting, um, even better situations as you, you know, stay upright throughout the situation. Um, okay. What is the past energy? Okay. All right. So we have, okay. and we have the Empress. So the past energy, like, I think you were feeling very stable, sure of yourself, um, abundant, like attractive, able to call in the things that you needed. And, but then we also get the eight of wands in reverse. So you could have been feeling like, you know, I have everything I need. I'm sure of myself. I, and this is like a card of Taurus as well. Um, so showing up in your feminine energy, your, um, you know, very practical manifestation energy. Um, having a lot of resources, having a lot of, um, even like money and finances to rely on, but some part of it wasn't coming in at the speed that you wanted. You expected more to be coming in or something to, um, like messages to come in quickly, but there was some kind of blockage to that. Um,
yeah, I think like in the past energy, you're really like recognizing your worth and thinking maybe like um, setting intentions and like planting seeds and being like, okay, like this is going to come in. I've done all the work. I've done everything I need to do. But then there was a delay in things coming through for you, which might have felt like where is you know, where is the justice in this? Where is what I expected to happen? Like I did A, B and it didn't equal C kind of thing. Um, and that might also be why the tower is here because it feels unexpected. Like, um, you know, like maybe it feels like something is crashing down or crumbling or not happening in the way that we expected it to. Um, but I feel like spirit with the energy field adjustment is saying like you didn't do anything wrong. It's not that you're not deserving of the things that you want, but you do need to adjust your energy and stay in that high vibrational um, path, you know, distract yourself, go have some fun, look at anything in your past that could still be resurfacing or holding you back so that you can address it. Um, let's see what the upcoming energy is. What is the next step for Taurus? Okay. What about the King of Cups? Okay, so we get the King of Cups in reverse. So when he is um, upright, you know, he's someone who's very like emotionally stable, strength, um, strong, artistic, creative, tapped into his intuition, um, but also with that masculine energy. So like action orientated, um, someone that can be relied on. But with the upcoming energy being in reverse, it feels like there is a disconnect, like you are this energy, but you may be doubting yourself. You may be feeling like you're blocked from that part of yourself, not feeling as emotionally stable as you normally are. This could be another person as well if you're dealing with a male water sign. So that is Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Um, you know, there could be a male water sign in your life that's just not showing up as they normally would, and that's affecting you. But it does feel like, yeah, there's like an emotional reliability that's hard to access and emotional maturity that's being hard to access in the coming um, steps forward. But when I clarified it, I got the strength card. So it feels like if this is another person, the reason for this is because your higher self is trying to get you to rely on your own inner strength, rely on your own inner guidance um, to sh show you the way to understand how to move forward. Um, and if it is yourself, again, it's showing you that um, if there is any kind of like externalization energy where you relied on something to assist you in being emotionally stable, whether it's money, whether it's, um, you know, success or how you look or all these other things that we tend to like put out, give our power away to, um, it's reminding you that like all you need is you, you have the inner strength, you know, like you have the power to get through this and you have everything you need inside. So you might not be able to um, as easily access those other things because it's re it's building up your strength. Um, and needing to remind yourself that like if you are blocked from a certain energy that you have that ability to access it. You have that ability to be emotionally resilient and rise above it. But um, it might feel especially hard to do in the coming energy, which makes sense, you know, because like if something's throwing you off track and it's just not moving forward as quickly as you want, it can be really hard to be emotionally reliable for other people. It can be really hard to hold space for others when we're feeling depleted ourselves. So also remembering to maybe um, not serve so many people at this time to really focus on yourself and getting yourself um, in a good headspace. And um, yeah, let's see what, what is Taurus focusing on? <laughs> it's funny. We get the moon and the sun. So you might be... Um, Yeah, it feels like things are really unknown at this time. Like things are just not working out the way that you expected, as we said. Yep. Um, you know that you're the magician. You know that like you have the power to manifest what you want and to call things into being. So I think that the fact that things aren't going 
exactly to plan is throwing you off. It's making you feel like, okay, well, there's so much um, illusion. I'm not able to see clearly. And all I want is the sun, which is like to be able to have that like higher perspective, to have that healing, to have that connection with source where I know everything's okay and I can see what I'm doing and there's <clears throat> success and joy. Okay. What is under the surface for Taurus? <clears throat> Okay, so under the surface, so things that you might not be aware of, but that are impacting the situation, we get Page of Swords and the Ace of Swords. So there is a new like thought form, a new idea that you're needing to um, get a grasp on and kind of use to assist with this situation. There is a truth that's coming in that's going to be able to cut away all this illusion, um, but it feels like you're not aware of it. So you're so focused on like, you know, maybe just like manifesting, being like, okay, I want this, so I'm calling it in, um, being quite stubborn and being quite focused, which is not a bad thing. Um, but there is like a, a change of like perspective. There's a, a new idea, a new way of thinking of um, using your mental energy that needs to come through first that is going to assist the situation in shifting and coming forward. There might be an air sign that can assist you with this. Um, so that's Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. If you have any um, air in your chart as well, this can show you that you might need to rely on this part of yourself more. So to be able to think a bit more logically or even if it's not think more logically, it's like assess the ways that you're thinking, the ways that you're speaking to yourself, the ways that um, you hold on to your mental energy and looking for that truth or that um, new idea that might be able to cut through some of the um, the disappointment from the tower. So like to again, to see things from that different perspective and be able to cut away things that no longer serve you so that you're able to um, flip this king around and have that emotional resilience again to feel emotionally safe and grounded and um connected with your strength but also to not overly to not have too many responsibilities as well to kind of um have a bit of freedom to just look after yourself and move forward in the ways that you need to Taurus okay so let's get some higher self advice for this situation and we'll see what your higher self has to say Mm. So what is the higher self advice for you? What would the higher self say to Taurus right now? Okay, yeah. Is there any further higher self advice for them? Okay. So the first one that we get is be honest with yourself. And I feel like this relates to that page of swords, ace of swords. Um, that can also be like, are we being like, a bit immature with the way that we're speaking to others, speaking to ourselves or thinking about something. Is there something that we can um, see from like a more adult perspective and shift our mental energy in that way? And this talks about all your feelings, even the difficult ones have a message for you. Accept your truth and then let source take it from here. So being honest with ourselves and really accepting um, situations for what they were and being able to again get that higher perspective and allow um a bit of like quiet contemplation so that source can come through and help um regain your focus and shift you towards where you need to be cool is your next card that we get is trust your angels with let go of your expectations of how your dreams will come true and trust that heaven has a perfect plan perfect and Yeah, again, like that flexibility that um, allowing your mind to be like, um, hmm.
to like allow yourself to not have so much pressure on yourself to be like okay maybe I don't have all the answers because as soon as we accept that we open ourselves up to new learning new understanding and fresh perspectives um, and trusting your angels to be able to guide you to that that you're not doing this alone that you have support and you have so much heavenly assistance wanting to come through for you you just need to open up and ask for it and the next card that we get is step into the spotlight so you have a message that the world needs to hear. It's time to share your wisdom. Beautiful. And that, I feel like that's to do with what you're manifesting. Um, maybe like new opportunities to do this, but there is a more authentic layer that kind of wants to be revealed um, to you and through you um, as you step into this new role that you're wanting. But first it involves being honest with yourself and trusting your angels to get there. Okay, Taurus, well, thank you so much for being here with me. We're going to jump over to part two where we look at love, career, and money in more detail over on Patreon. Links are below. Um, if this is where I leave you, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for everyone who's donated, who has booked a personal reading, has become a Patreon, and thank you so much for just watching this video. I really appreciate it. I'll see you guys next month. Bye.